foo, chemotherapy is a bear. Uh, for me, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I had blistering mouth sores, epic fatigue, and neuropathy in my feet that I still have today. Uh, it, it is a, it, it, it hits hard it, and it hits everything. Um, and you know, you will, it depends on how it's delivered. In my case, I had six rounds of chemotherapy every 21 days. And so you get hit hard and then you have a bit of a time towards the end of that cycle to recover from that. And you start feeling pretty normal towards the end of that cycle to get just hit again and then put down. Um, so side effects can be systemic and, and harsh for chemotherapy. Uh, radiation, again, I think will be the side effects. Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really speaking from a ton of knowledge, per firsthand knowledge on this, but from anecdotal. Uh, radiation is kind of one of those things that, unlike chemo, where you feel these side effects immediately, radiation is sometimes a little bit of a slow uptake. Of, 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 of side effects. You may not feel them initially, but it gradually starts to increase. And it could be everything from fatigue to, you know, a burning sensation in the area that you had radiation. Um, in my case, I had uh, SBRT or very targeted radiation to one metastatic lesion. And uh, I didn't really have very many side effects initially, but I did have what felt like kind of insertional tendonitis uh, in that area. And I think if you think about it, like radiation is going after this, this lesion in the bone. And so all the muscles and everything around that are going to respond to something that's attacking it. And I, I think that's mostly what I had, you know, I have this high dose radiation burn treatment against a metastatic lesion. And then the muscles and tendons and everything around that kind of came to to try to help me out. And I had feelings of insertional tendonitis in my hip after that. But compared to chemo, it wasn't really bad at all. Uh, lastly, targeted therapy. In my mind, it's the least uh, from a side effect perspective. Um, it's targeted for a reason. It's not meant to shut down everything. It's meant to inhibit the specific driver of your, of your cancer. So um, in my case, where I'm shutting down a cell signaling pathway, there's other redundant pathways that your normal cells can use to do their function, their normal function. So when you shut down this one pathway, yes, your normal cells have to realize that now they have to use a redundant or a different pathway in order to do their jobs. And that alone will cause some side effects, but they're, they're less severe. And I've found for the most part that your body will normalize around that blockage and function fairly normal. Um, so again, in summary, if you rank these in terms of, of, of severity of side effects, chemo is way up here, radiation is here and targeted therapy is, is here in terms of the severity of side effects in my experience.